<laughs> so, yeah, um, LO1 is understand inclusive teaching and learning approaches in education and training. Um, one of the best ways to do that, um, uh, I'll just go through the unit with you first and I'll come back to that. Uh, and it's looking at um, the features of inclusive teaching and learning, comparing the strengths and limitations of teaching and learning approaches used in your own area of specialism in relation to meeting individual learner needs. Most setups will have already done an initial assessment uh, and more and more um, individual learning styles are being assessed at that point. So you will have um, a better picture of the learners you've got within the group that you, you, you're teaching. Um, yeah. And you'll know their individual styles. Um, one, one, of the, one of the best ways of doing that, I, I've got a, a learning styles questionnaire that I want you to do at some point, yeah? Um, yeah. And it, 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 what it does, it dictates your own learning style very finely. Um, yeah. I'll show it to you later on when we, when we get through there. And it, so it's yeah. again, it's comparing the strength of, of, of teaching learning approaches used in your own area and explain why it's important to provide opportunities for learners to develop their English, maths and ICT and wider skills during the actual lesson. Now, a lot of um, schools now will have integrated um, lessons where, as well as separate maths lessons, uh, English lessons or whatever, uh, they, will, they will develop some of the those processes into the teaching and learning of several you know um, um, subjects some of the yeah. practical subjects um, where they do um, they've got a, a, like a, a laboratory and they do chemical experiments or they will do um, um, cooking baking mm -hmm. uh, where they're doing weights measures so that sort of thing and uh, also some schools have a workshop where they do um, machining, little machining tasks and so forth, all have got to use uh, mathematics to a certain extent. ITC, ICT, because it's easier to write it up that way, and the English will be done on the write-ups. So again, those are a different subject altogether, but they're encompassing um, a level of English and maths and ICT in that process. Yeah. Then the next okay. one is... Sorry. Sorry, I did. Phil, I did send. Um, I completed this um, module, and I've already emailed you a version. You I've not. It. I've only got one. I've got unit one. I've not got unit two. Oh, because I sent it to your um, uh, to the learner. Uh, what, what's the website? Have a quick look. It should be go to learner work at ukversity.co.uk. Yeah. Yeah. I've sent it through. I sent it through last week. Oh, let me just check. Or oh, the week before, actually. Let me just check. Let's get rid of rubbish. It should have come through. So that would be... Um, well, it might have been um, Friday. Um, Friday of last week. Not last week, because um, I was away. I think it might have been could have been the 21st or the 20th I sent it. Right. Make sure you've got through to the other one. Hang on. I'll check on my uh, Yahoo one. Or did I send it to you? Maybe I sent it to you for review, actually. It should. It comes into this. Anything will come into this mail as well. I have them synced up. So once Learner Works received your work, it will then say, oh, it's me, and send it to me. It will go into my works email, which I was just looking at then. Uh, okay. But it will also go into, into my personal mail as well. Um, and it usually goes into there quicker than anything else, funnily enough. Uh, so. so we're going back to... Um, I, I, I think I didn't submit it officially because I wanted you to look at this. Um, so we're going back to the 19th. 
Seventy-six eight. Let's it through again. I can see it here. I've gone back to there, and let's go through the. Uh, I'll just send it through again. Yeah, I think that might be better. Send it to the, this mail. Yeah. Yeah, I'll send it to Phil at UK University. Uh, no, send it to. Um, oh. Sh Chevron BX. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Chevron BX at UK uh, at yahoo.co.uk. Uh, what was the address again? It's I Chevron, C H E V R O N, BX. The actual word. Yep, Chevron. BX. Oh, okay, I can see that. Yep, yep, yep. At yahoo.co.uk. No, it definitely hasn't come through. The only ones I've got through on here have just. It was on with last night. Um, right, superb. That should have come straight away. Come through? Here we are. Oh, I think the oh, I think it's missing, isn't it? The assignment's actually is it attached? Yeah, it's gone through. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. That one. Oops. Yeah. Super. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, OK. Well, what we'll do, we'll turn this into a tutorial, then I'll go through that with you, yeah? Is that OK? Yes, that's fine. OK, let's go back to the beginning, and we'll look at There was some, you know, good material for each of the um, learning objectives on this on this unit. Um, mm -hmm. I think there was a, um, a PowerPoint for literally every learning objective. Um, as well as some, a couple of handouts that were on there as well. Um, yeah, there was quite a bit. Yeah, there was quite a bit of stuff on there. So, yeah. Let's have a quick look. Oh, you picked, yeah, I picked up on the, the Unit 2 presentation, the seven principles of inclusive education, yeah? Mm -hmm. So... Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Oh yeah, I think that's on the what's his name, isn't it? On the on the uh, PowerPoint, this one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's great. Yeah, compare the strengths and limitations of teaching and learning approaches using your own area of specialism. Now, um, you're teaching functional maths, yeah? So you're using preset material, yeah? Yes, that's yeah. the problem we've got. Right, yeah. Okay. I mean, obviously, I can set up demonstrations and things, but generally, the lesson plan is quite rigid. Right, okay, yeah, yeah. So, what, what age group have you got that you're dealing with at the moment? Um, I've got three that are adults, uh, sort of like 19 plus. Yeah, nineteen to twenty-four. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Actually, to, actually, some are older than twenty-four. Some are uh, thirty. Total well, thirty. 
it was it was a funding it was a funding group that nineteen to twenty four that hadn't yeah. hadn't yeah. achieved really. I used to teach yeah. a group of that uh, exactly the same. Uh, some of them had um, definite educational needs, you know, special needs. Yeah. Um, I mean, uh, there were one or two. One, uh, yeah. I had picked up that were, didn't seem to have any problem. Um, one of them, as I, I can give you an example, um, he was 21, um, dressed smartly, spoke well, um, generally seemed okay. Uh, and it was only after I did some tests, I found out that he did dyslexia. He'd gone yeah. through 11 years of schooling and it never yeah. been picked up. Yeah. Of they tend the to one hide is very at the back. Yeah. They tend to hide at the back and you and, and can get yeah. missed. But uh, once once we got him sorted out and uh, and some, you know some proper tutorial, proper yeah. um, tutoring, um, yeah. then he progressed pretty well after that. Yeah, yeah. And it's just building that confidence, isn't it? Like the, this, this it one is, yeah. that uses his fingers yeah. to count. Um, very much so. Even counting till ten. Yeah, yeah very much so. Adding till ten, it, number bonds. Yeah, it was building that confidence with them. Yeah. What, what yeah. I tend to do is, if it's maths, <clears throat> most of them can't do the timetables, of course. Yeah. What, they panic because they can't do the timetables, but they well, can't even add. <laughs> what What I do, I, what, what I did with the with with the group that I had at that time, I asked them what they did when they went home. And you know, I got various responses: yeah. watch TV, go out with my mates, um, go on my Xbox or whatever it was. So I said, "Well, will you give me fifteen minutes every every evening when you go home? Every evening except weekends, yeah. just during the week. Yeah. What for?" I said, "I'll give you a time table to learn." Yeah. I said, "I'll yeah. guarantee by Christmas, which was about oh, twelve weeks yeah. away about that time." Uh, I said, "I'll guarantee you by Christmas you'll be as good as me." No, 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 no. I said, I'm telling you, you will. If you do it, <laughs> I'll, know, I'll know you've done it and I know you won't because I know you can yeah. do it. And it was that just giving them that confidence to, to have a go. And yeah. they, they, were, they were absolutely amazed, obviously, you know, that, uh, that they could yeah, actually can do, do it. it. Yeah. And it was it's just yeah. a matter of finding out what, how, how to actually, you know, get through to them. That it was yeah. not hard. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I found some apps for them. To do simple maths. I mean, this one really struggled with addition as well. I mean, never mind the time tables. The what? Sorry. And uh, addition, just um, normal. Um, yeah, yeah, addition, yeah. Subtraction. But he really yeah. needs his fingers. He has to really, really think. So I just gave him some um, apps that I found, some free apps for his phone. Yeah. And I said, just practice these every day, just simple adding and subtracting. Yeah. So <clears> just really, really, just, just those simple things have been real confidence booster. I had one um, one guy. If you give him straightforward addition, no problem. If you asked him yeah. to have money up, he got it wrong every time. Oh, sorry. Really? Uh, I find it easier with you the, my children and uh, yeah. Stand over your students, but I had to. I had to find out what he was doing. And <laughs> basically, if he got if he got money to add up, he added yeah. up from left to right. Oh, wow. Um, I said, do it. I said, why do you add up from left to right when it's money? That's how I was mm-hmm. taught to. And, yeah, and obviously I knew he wasn't taught like that, but this is the way he'd understood it. I said, no, I said, oh. you don't change it with money. You just do it just like normal, uh, just like yeah. a normal edition, uh, starting yeah. from the you know uh, right-hand side and moving over to the left. And <laughs> he, got, he got them right to read, straight away. I said, whoever's was giving me that oh. information. They give you the wrong wow. information, yeah. I didn't tell him it was him that misunderstood it. Um, wow. Yeah, it Bad. made a difference. Yeah, <laughs> wow. And it, it's, oh. Sometimes it's difficult to understand how, yeah. you know, yeah. that could have occurred. Yeah. Unless you ask them how they're adding it up and then you're watching them. Yeah. But it, yeah, it's, everybody has their own way. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, when I did BHND as an engineer, I had to, I had to learn calculus, and <laughs> it, it did my head in for ages. Uh, yeah. Until all of a sudden, one, one of the teachers took some time out to explain it to me properly, and all of a sudden I could do it.
I always, I always remember that because I think there's only one once in the whole of my career as an engineer that I had to use it. <laughs> oh, wow. And that was 30-odd years, so... <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's got in tabulated form, that's fine, yeah. A lot of the, um, well, I'm saying foreign students, students that's come in from, or English is not their first language. No. Uh, uh, it's surprising the number uh, that think they don't know certain things. And I, I say to them, if I was to pull, you know, 10 English people off the street and ask them the same question, they wouldn't be able to answer it. And they go, oh, <laughs> you know. It's, oh, God. Yeah. Because it's again, they're aiming for a level two, which is, you know, they, they they've been told, oh, it's only a level two. It's quite high. And when I explain to them, yeah. it's taken eleven years for kids at, at school to reach that standard. They start to look at it a little differently. Yeah. <laughs> wow, it's something we take for granted, really, isn't it? Well, it, it is. Um, it, it, it depends on um, on your background. I, I, I mean, I can I can relate to a lot of them because I was there for many years. Um, I left school at fifteen with no qualifications at all. Um, wow! And literally, it was only after I um, I got a very good apprenticeship and they sent me to college, and I got a teacher that could teach me. Um, obviously, I went on to get my HND. So it, it, it shows that sometimes it's it's the teaching that matters. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And the way that teaching's done. I learned very early on that I'm a visual learner, not an audio learner. Um, mm -hmm. If people drone on at me for hours, um, then I usually go to sleep and don't learn. <laughs> yeah. It's quite true spelling mistakes on there, I'm just going to put right. <laughs> oh yeah, and I just saw that as well. I was like trying to touch it, and I was like, oh, I can't do anything now. <laughs> that's I been... sent it just before I went away on holiday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, been, that's, been, that's the English teacher coming out. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but it's horrible, isn't it, when you see a highlighted in words? Yeah. <laughs> you can't ignore it. <laughs> Yeah, you're picking more or less everything up here, no problem at all. Um, you, yeah, you pick that up at the bottom. It means that individual learning should be assessed early in the process. This is why it's becoming much yeah. more into the initial assessment process now, um, so that you've got a complete picture of the students you've got um, yeah. when they actually get to you. The work that's done prior to teaching is, is, is very important. Uh, yeah. and in a lot of areas, that's been neglected, um, and it, yeah. it, 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 today it's now looked at it's very clear that we need to get a, a, a clearer picture of the of the learner uh, than, than we, that we can, um, yeah. so that we can we can make sure that we we, we teach to their um, strengths. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that. Yeah, that's good. Uh, ah, right, okay. Just looking for something. Yeah, yeah. It's it's like everything. The a lot of these cycles. I mean, the teaching, and learning, and assessing cycle. Yes, um, there is, there is a process there. But even in in on a business course, you'll you'll do plan, do review. Um, yeah which is basically the same thing. It's the same process. The subject may be different, that's all. But yeah. again, prior to teaching, you'll analyse what you've got. You'll then plan out what you're going to do. Then you're going to teach. Yeah. Make the assessment from there and then reflect on what's happened uh, yeah. and any any changes that need to be made or adaptations um, goes into your next analysis. Yeah. Yeah. 
illustrates do as opposed to hear, read, or observed. Mm -hmm. One of the things that um, highlights this is what you're actually doing all through a course. It doesn't really matter what the course is. You will be looking at information. You'll be reading material. You'll be um, putting together or researching material. Um, yeah. But then you'll actually write it up and, and actually doing the research and then writing it up at afterwards um yeah. it actually that act and that activity which is saying on here doing it, it it means that you retain almost 90 percent of it yeah or the average person does anyway yeah as i get older that tends not to work <laughs> <laughs> One of the things um, in engaging and motivating learners is, how can I say, it's actually making personal contact. Yeah. If you can do that, um, then you've got a you've got a, a, a platform on which to work. And even the most, how can I say, um, even learners with with behavioural issues uh, respond to that. Yeah. Yeah. It makes a you know a huge difference setting up that uh, that platform. Okay. Yeah. A range of the, the best way, of, I know there's a range of motivational um, theories around, um, but again, that engaging the learner person on a personal basis um, yeah. and actually doing things with them uh, is, is probably the, one of the best ways of, of, of um, getting through to okay. them and giving them that motivation. Yeah. Have you got a copy of that le of that um, lesson plan? Yeah, I think right. it's further down. Yeah. Oh, you've, I was going to say you can add it as an appendix. You, you can put it as an appendix if you if you want. Uh, but if you yeah. put it within the text, it's fine. It doesn't matter. Yeah, only a month. But... Yeah, I should have just done it for the appendix because it was difficult trying to get that into here. There's a, there's a number of, of, of theorists on this area. Only a month, but probably one of the most used. Um, there's another mm -hmm. guy, I don't know if you've met him before, Vykotsky. He's, okay. he's another um, theorist on quite a number of things in, in teaching and learning. Um, some of his stuff's quite good, actually. Um, mm -hmm. And it, it is practical, it's not just theory. Mm -hmm. Right, got quite a wide scheme of work on there. Yeah. Yeah. 
I think it skipped a bit. It's sort of like lost a bit of the. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Might be further down actually. Yeah. 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 I think uh, it's sort of moved the slides a bit. Yeah. All 12 weeks, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Right, what's happening with your um, micro-teach? Oh, I'm really struggling with that one. Um, what? I've got four, at least five learners, and the yeah. problem I've got is none of them are similar ages. So I've got two learners that are 10, 11. Yeah. And three learners that are 19 and 26 and 28, 29 sort of thing. Are they and in the same they all, group? Yeah, they're all, I mean, I've been tutoring them, but they've been learning ratios and things. So I, yeah. can, I can do it with this group, and I know exactly all of them, majority of them have learning issues. I mean, one is super bright, so he just needs, so they've all got different needs, so I can demonstrate different needs, but it's five enough. And it doesn't matter the age group. Not really, no. Um, it, the micro-teaching session requires you to have uh, a scheme of work of which the lesson is, is from, yeah? yeah, and a lesson plan um, that shows your teaching, uh, your approaches, um, and the resources used, and your assessment methods to meet those individual learner needs. And with them being a disparate group, that's probably actually better. Yep. Now, so I, I can do it based on that, because I, I wanted to ask you if that would be okay. Because yeah, I know yeah. that they all, I'm teaching them ratios. They've all got very different needs. Mm -hmm. um, and I can use demonstrations and discussions and group work and just record that and send that to you. Yeah, you could just, yes, yeah, just a video of that and that's fine. Um, and how long um, does it need to be? And on the, if you look at 4.3, yeah. yeah, provide constructive yeah. feedback. So a little yeah. session separately with one of your learners giving you giving some yeah. direct feedback yeah yeah and that will cover that completely yeah and how long does it need to be <laughs> how long's a piece of string <laughs> <laughs> it can be it can be literally 15 20 minutes okay. so if i put a lesson plan together of those needs uh, of, yeah. of the lesson i'm going to do yeah um, so it'll be on maths ratios, and then and then pick out a little, do the teach for them yeah. based on all the needs and everything that is going to be within that room. Yeah. And then just do a constructive feedback session with one yeah. of them on that, how that, to that, That's fine. One of uh, okay. But it, that, that's enough. You see, what happens is it depends on what you're teaching and what will fit in with best with what you are doing. If it's longer, it doesn't matter. Um, okay. It, it, I had a uh, one of my, one of my learners was actually teaching um, a health and safety course, uh, yeah. and it was a, a thirty-five minute course, um, and he did the whole thing, and then he okay. added on an extra ten minutes doing some feedback with one of them, um, okay. and and we sent me that because he was actually in Dubai, so uh, I couldn't actually <laughs> go out myself. Okay. Whereabouts are you located? <laughs> Sorry? Sorry? I said, whereabouts are you located? Birmingham. Surbiton? All oh, right. Birmingham. 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 Um, yeah. Yeah. One of our tutors comes from Birmingham. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. He, uh, well, we, we've a number of tutors. One, one, one's, I think, centred in Bradford. There's a couple in Manchester, um, but one, mm -hmm. one in Birmingham as well. Um, and they come in periodically into the centre, but mainly they work from home. Um, I work from home some of the time, um, because I'm only, what, 20 odd miles from Manchester, so I travel in um, sometimes once a week, sometimes two or three days a week, uh, oh, depending okay. on what's needed. Yeah. So, yeah, that's looking fine. Um, I that I and you'll do the self-evaluation self and reflection on the form yeah. that's that's provided, yeah? yeah. That's superb. 
I don't see uh, any problem with that. What I'll do, I'll make the assessment out and I'll send it back to you. Um, it will be okay. Friday, if that's okay. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. Now, what I'll have a quick look at before we go is, oops. have you had a look at Unit 6 at all? I have. Um, I'm going to make a start on that. Um, and then I'll send that through for next week or whenever. Yeah, yeah. You know. I'll, I'll next week, it. Wednesday's next session, yeah? I'll just quickly open that up. Just have a quick look. Yeah, Unit 6. It's, it's mainly for, this is mainly for, uh, formulated on the assessment process. Um, mm -hmm. And it, it's a little bit wider, possibly, than what you're doing, um, but that's that's okay. There's a, there's some stuff on there to give you some information uh, to follow some of that up, yeah. Um, yeah. But again, it, it looks at identify the regulations and requirements relevant to the assessment processes in your own area of practice, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but it looks at the key concept of principles of assessment. That is general, yeah. That's a whole range of assessment methods in a whole range of circumstances from academic through to practical, yeah? Yeah. And again, the different types, that's what I've just said really, the different types of, of, um, of assessments that you, you can use in different circumstances. So it's looking at factors to consider. It, it yeah. can be anything from... Um, work arriving via email to actually um, going out to do an observation. Um, yeah. and you may have to plan that. If you're, to, if you're going out to observe somebody, you'd have to make sure that they were available, um, that the people that they were involved with knew about it and that, that you know, that, that, that it was going to happen and so forth. So yeah. an assessment plan can be, again, a long piece of string. It depends on yeah. what the assessment process is going to be. Uh, and yeah. then, a, Accordingly, then you will use those methods. Um, yeah. One of the I was involved in assessment way back in the 1980s uh, when it first started, really. And um, one of the things that they were doing in certainly in the engineering section was that we're using witness testimonies. That oh, they'd, okay. They'd done this job, yeah. That was and it, yeah. it was okay and it worked out fine. Okay. But, the, the the problem was that the guy who was actually giving this witness testimony didn't know what the standards were. <laughs> <laughs> he was just saying, yeah, okay, the job was good. Which oh. means, basically, well, that he possibly were, had covered the standards. Um, but oh. um, we have to be a bit more careful about who we use as witnesses after that. <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, again, other things can occur uh, within a qualification. Um, there was a guy who was assessing some um, building site managers, mm -hmm. and one of the one of the things he assessed him on was the managing of overhead lifts using the crane and so forth, but not actually doing it, making sure there was a plan. That he managed it so forth, and he signed him off on this. But unfortunately, he wasn't qualified himself to do that. Um, oh no! <laughs> so yeah, exactly. Uh, and the external verifier, when he came in, I'd already discovered this. Um, so I told him, I said, I've been brought in by the firm because there were some issues. Um, oh no! There were an awful lot of issues actually. Um, but this was one of them. It was a glaring one. And as luck would have it, um, the EQA that came in to look at it, I already knew him <laughs> previously. Oh. So um, I explained what had happened, and he, he just turned, I dropped myself right in it, because he turned around and said to me, you are qualified to do that, aren't you? So I said, yeah. well, <laughs> yes, I am. He said, well, what I'll accept no, is we're going to do a professional discussion with each of these guys, um, <laughs> and you sign it off. So I went, oh. right, okay. One was in London, <laughs> the other one was in the middle of Norfolk somewhere. But, no. um, so I walked into that one. <laughs> <laughs> Again, it's looking at an, an holistic approach to assessment. I don't. Have you met that before? 
No, I haven't really um, gone through. Well, I mean, I read them, I read this unit, yeah. but I can't remember it now. So I was all I'll do is I'll just go back to the material that's been given. Yeah. And then well, this this is an only only a three unit qualification. If you're going on to the mm-hmm. DET, which is a big unit qualification, yeah. Um, there are many areas where you can you are providing work for one unit, and that can be cross referenced to other ah, parts yeah, yeah. of the qualification. So yeah. you're looking at the holistic view. Is, 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 well, that's one way of, it, of explaining mm-hmm. it, actually. Another one is um, I can go back to my engineering days again. I might be going out to do an observation on a, on a, um, a guy doing a particular job. But oh, okay. Rather than look at the units, we do the job and then see which units fell out of the job. Oh, okay, 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 yeah. Yeah. So we may not cover some units, we may cover more than cover some units, but also we might cover Mm -hmm. just certain assessment criteria from others. Uh, But then we have a plan then to what we're we're going to cover the other bits with. Um, So that's another view of a a holistic approach to... um, Yeah, I don't know whether I can can alter this one, I think I can. That's correct now. It's not a holistic approach. It's <laughs> <laughs> so that's yeah. There's some information on that actually on 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 the VLE. Um, yeah, I mean, that, I think I was in the process of going through that yeah. information and then. And again, it's, it's the benefits of, of using an holistic approach. I'll have to put that in again. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what 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 happened? I. I I did a course once, and he wanted me. He wanted literally a piece of information, a piece of evidence for every criteria. I think it was, and I said, "Luke, you've just wasted my time here." Mm-hmm. He came from a, um, a retail background, and mm-hmm. he'd been assessing, you know, people in the retail trade. I said, "Well, when you go and do an observation, do you go and just observe one piece, like showing them giving change at a till?" He said, "Yeah." Mm-hmm. So I said, well, if you go in and you're walking around the shop and a customer comes in and the, the person you're assessing goes to speak to the customer to find out what they want, then yeah. assist them to find it, uh, yeah. then helps them wrap it up, then takes the money and what's his name, wouldn't it be better to do the whole lot in one? Yeah. Well, I hadn't thought about it like that. <laughs> My boss at the time was doing the same course as me and she ended up with a, a portfolio with, um, I think it was something like 200 and, 240 pieces of evidence in it, uh, oh, and wow. mine, had, mine had 78. <laughs> wow. We both passed the course, because I've got <laughs> the evidence, you, 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 you yeah. using a holistic approach to, to the assessment process. So it was actually... Um, it was when we were doing the key skills that was right, but, but the the qualification, the level four qualification for assessment of key skills, yeah. So that's holistic assessment. Mm-hmm. Some of the risks involved. Well, I mentioned one, making sure the assessor was qualified. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think again, explain how to minimise risks in the planning process. Um, importance of involving the learning and others. Well, yeah, that, I mean that's standard pretty well. Um, if you're going to assess somebody, they need a copy of the of the standard which you've got on here, yeah. Um, and then so you you know exactly what you what what it's be what it's asking you to do. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then um, the evidence you provide is based on what it's asking asking you to do there. This is why. On the level three, it's not so bad because most of it is explain, explain. You get to summarise, yeah? Um, but again, most of it is explain. Well, you've got an evaluation in there as well, yeah? And, and the summarise there. Um, but most of it is explain or evaluate. There, there are no analyses in, in the level three. Um, but it's, a, it's, it's basically making sure that you've got the command verb right and and you've done exactly what it's asking you to do what, with the command yeah. verb. So um, if you feel confident with that, it's a big one actually, uh, Unit Six. It's yeah, got eight, I did see, and I thought it was yeah. going to take a while actually. <laughs> uh, yeah, some of them got have got four assessment criteria to them. Yeah. Because yeah. assessment is a is a big process. Um, 
it, it's yeah. a difficulty sometimes when you employ teachers yeah. that they need to be able to assess their work, their, their students' work. Um, yeah. It's not just delivery. The assessment yeah. of it is, is vital, really. Important. Yeah. Oops, I'm running low. Never mind. <laughs> We've nearly finished, I think. Um, yeah. So you're, you're pretty confident with that. You can go ahead with that. I'll pick yeah, up I'll do that. I'll pick up the way you just sent me, and I'll okay. give you some feedback Friday. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Okay. Yeah, I've, got, I've got to spend, I think, Friday morning and part of the afternoon on some other assessments as well. So I'll add you as oh, to fine. that list for Friday. Yeah, I should be able to get that brilliant. back. Okay. No okay, problem. Then. Thank you so much. All right. Yeah. I'll catch you next week. Okay, then. All right. Take care. Bye now. Bye -bye. Same to you. Bye now.